Hi guys, this is Basant. In this tutorial, we are going to see what is Cache and how to implement this in our project. Normally, Cache is the recommended features which we need to implement in our application to reduce the database trip between our application to database. So it will give the better performance. So to integrate Spring, there is plenty of caching mechanism available. First one generic, J cache, EH cache, Hazelcast, like this bunch of cache mechanism available in Spring IO documentation. But I would prefer to use this Hazelcast because in this Hazelcast we have a features for cache big police so that every update in our database will instantly reflect on our cache. So there will be no data inconsistency if you will use this Hazelcast. In EH cache also we have this we can enable our EBIC policy but for that we need to write our manual refresh of our cache. So Hazelcast is following by maximum industry. So let's do a small POC on this Hazelcast cache mechanism. Okay. So let's create one spring project. change the name ok change the package name ok now let's create a project let it be on dot five dot ten. I am using here MySQL, Dev Tools, JPA, and Lombok, and Web. These are the dependency I added, and we need to add this Hazelcast related dependency. Let's import our application. So application imported successfully. Let's add the required dependency. Okay. Let's update it. Okay, build successfully. Now, as I, I am going to, did I added MySQL connector or not? Let me check. Added it. So, as I am using here MySQL, my own database, I am not using here any temporary database. So we need to provide the configuration regarding data source and uh, all the dialect and uh, so SQL or uh, auto DDL like this. So let's configure in YML file. Always we are doing in properties file. Let's add in YML file now. Create a file with name application dot YML. Okay. Now write like spring dot data source dot driver class name. Then the next one URL. Then username. Then password. Okay. So mention the data source driver class name URL username and password. So mention it com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. 
ओके सिमिलर वे मेंशन द ड्राइवर क्लास नेम डीबीसी कॉलम माय स्क्वेल डबल क्लास लोकल होस्ट देन द पोर्ट पोर्ट इज आवर थ्री थ्री जीरो सिक्स देन मेंशन योर स्कीमा नेम आई हैव वन टेबल with name user table and it's inside the schema association mapping having 60000 record okay so mention the schema name association mapping okay mention the sorry this should be in then it should be in point to url then username is our root password ok why this error let's do one maven update Delete it. It will not. Oh, delete it. Spring. It should be inside data source. Okay, that's why it's giving error. Now we need to mention our JP related annotation configuration details. Okay, so right here, JP. jpa database and database we are using mysql hotels then we need to mention our table creation that ddl auto ok so i have a ddl auto is update ok then show sql if you want to see the generate query in your console ok this is the configuration <coughs> now let's create the model let me show you the DB My SQL workbench this is the schema association mapping we have the table name user ok I can show you the number of record here select count star ok why this error let's run it let's run it now that time also we provided same syntax but don't know why it's not working ok the number of record is 59,998 ok near about 60,000 and the column name ID name and address ID address name ok so let's create a model with same name create 
create a package called model let's create all the required package service create the package DAO last one is our controller ok dot controller so let's create the model user ok declare the require field private int id string name and another one is address ok so as I add a lombok I am not using write manually getter setter write the lombok provided annotation ok and then add our entity here no need to mention the table annotation we want to generate a table with the class name mention your primary key and as it is our model class implements it from serializable ok and generate the default id now write the repository I am using here spring data jpa name it as user repository this should be the interface extends it from jpa repository you can extend from crowd repository as well pass the model class here user and this should be the primary key data type we have integer ok so let's write the service ok annotate at the rate service we already did our database configuration and uh, required we added Hazelcrest required dependency but we need to configure like our epic policy and the memory configuration the heap size details all those we need to configure in our this one more package we will create there we will configure copy this package name then we need to mention all the details there <coughs> config ok so create here like application config otherwise you can mention cache config ok and as I am using here java based configuration approach so you should annotate here at the red configuration ok so now write a method and return type is config object ok you can check the import statement it is coming from Hazelcast integrate api ok you can mention any name as method name ok now let's return the config object ok and we need to set the cache instance set instance ok mention the cache instance name I am naming it as Hazelcast instance ok then we need to add 
map config then here you need to pass the here you need to mention all the memory related details map config then we need to mention the cache name set name is here let's mention it user cache we need to mention a cache name there okay then we need to mention that max size something uh, max size config this is object so create new max size uh, something like that max is yes, new max size config it's an this one here you need to mention the size and police let's mention it 200 and here we need to mention the police <coughs> this is like max size policy dot something heap related we need to refer it to max size config class I guess let me check once Dot Yes. No, it should be free heap policy, free heap size. I think. Yes, it should be free heap size. Then we need to mention our abit policy. Okay. Dot set abit. Where is that method? Dot set. A bit policy. Okay, this is an enum. Dot LRU. I will tell you what is LRU, LFU. Dot here we need to set the time. Let's mention two thousand. Okay. <coughs> so this is the abit policy. This is the enum where LRU list recently used. You can check here LRU list recently used, LFU list frequently used, non random like this. These are the abit constant is there. So we are using here LRU okay and this is the cache instance and this is my cache name and max size and size policy okay annotate it as at the rate bin okay remove unused import now let's write the service inside service inject the repository used auto add ok let's write a method who will return the list of object list of user get users ok import the util package then import our model ok now I am directly return from repository dot find all this is the jpa provided Spring Data JPA provided method. Okay, here I am writing in fast request, it will directly hit the DB. So I am mentioning when we will hit the second time to face the list of users from database, instead of it will go to DB, it will face from the cache. 
water from the engineer. Okay. Then write one more method who will return a user object based on a field writing get user giving the input as id okay return repository dot find one with id okay then write one more method who will delete public string delete give the id as input parameter directly return from not return it's the return type is void repository dot delete give the id okay return some dummy message user deleted with id give the id okay this error sometime upon okay <coughs> now we need to enable the caching at the rate enable caching okay in service we need to write this is caching cacheable okay and the we need to mention the cache name this is the array what is our cache name we configured in our config our cache name is user cache ok so this is the string array so give one index ok second one mention same cacheable mention the value which is our cache name okay and mention the key which is our id okay then mention it should be written if result is not null so for that we need to use our unless attribute okay unless attribute something like result okay so now for this also mention the same for delete if you will mention this is the update operation delete means the record will be removed from our object um, database so same should be reflect in our cache so if i will write cacheable here it will not work it will not reflect on cache so for that we have cache evict ok similarly for update you can check here cache put cache put like this predefined annotation are there who will automatically reflect our cache so it's not required here even id also not required here ok mention the method name here first time in get users method similarly write for second one so that we can see in our console ok <coughs> now let's write the controller annotate at the red rest controller it's wrong second one rest what happened why it's not coming the import statement we added wave so it should come rest 
no it's not coming once again add the red controller I think we didn't add it the web dependency Added the web. Let's do an update. Okay. Now right at the right rest. The arrow earlier. Let it be. Then write the method public one will return the list of user get users it's coming now inject service here using auto add ok now write a method we will return the list of object user get get all users ok import the statement <coughs> directly return from service dot get users ok similarly write one more method who will return one user, ob user object based on id int id return service dot get user input id this is the runtime parameter i am making it mandatory ok similar way write a method for delete public string delete user give the input id return from service give the runtime parameter annotate it at the rate path variable ok now mention the url mapping this is the gate mapping get all users this is also gate mapping mention the url get user by id this is one delete so write at the rate delete mapping ok mention the url delete user and there we have one runtime parameter here also you have one runtime parameter that should be come as part of request url ok so let's give one root url at the rate request mapping ok cache api now let's run our application spelling mistake I did <coughs> wrongly this data source added here ok now let's rerun
okay you can see your jp entity manager and application start on 8080 check the url we'll check the url from here let's hit it local host 8080 slash cache api get all users okay let's hit it it took 4633 millisecond as first time it hit the db you can check the log hit db first time in get users calling method so first time it hit the db check in second time you can check here there is no print statement so second time control is not coming to our service it directly goes to the cache and fetching the data so second time no this spln statement is coming in console okay hit again same only first time it hit the db so request goes to it so when you will try it will not come to again to this method as it's fetching from the cache okay so similarly we have the second method that is check one get user by id I'm giving ID as you one. Okay. For one, it's giving me one object. You can check here the log. Hit DB first time in get user call. Okay. When I will hit the second time, third time, fourth time, there is only one print statement and one query fair. That is for first time. Second time. it's retrieve from cache okay so let's check when we will delete from database then whether it is reflect in cache or not let's call the what is that url delete user clear this console suppose as you am deleting the first one okay so the method type should be delete okay user deleted with id 1 now let's we will call get users method and that will not goes to the database that will retrieve from the cache and then we will check the one the user whose id is one that object is exist in cache or not okay hit the url now <coughs> what is that get all users okay the record one is deleted and it's getting from cache you can check the log there is no print statement so means it's not going to the our database else this statement should be execute in service this statement should be execute the control is not coming to that get users method so it's directly fetching from cache so there is no print statement okay let's check once more any print statement no it's taking time as there is 60000 records okay so this is the way we should implement the 
हेजल कैस्ट कैसे इन आवर एप्लीकेशन टू गेट द बेटर परफॉर्मेंस एंड दैट्स इट अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इफ एनी वन हैव एनी डाउट एंड कंसर्न यू कैन ऐड ए कमेंट एंड इफ एनी वन नॉट सब्सक्राइब्ड इट प्लीज गो हेड एंड सब्सक्राइब इट थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो